Hi guys, welcome to this Barb's Dance video. Today's video, we're going to be creating a super cute project using the Tutti Fruity Suite in our brand new Occasions Catalog for 2018. The particular suite we're using is on pages 28 and 29 of this publication, and it is just amazing. The Tutti Fruity Suite includes a fruit basket stamp set and the Itty Bitty Fruit Punch Pack, which are sold as a bundle if you would just like to purchase them that way. You save 10% if you do it. We've got the Tutti Fruity adhesive backed sequins. The suite does uh, include the Tutti Fruity classic stamp and spots. We've got the 6x6 Tutti Fruity designer series paper, lemon lime twist 3 8 mini striped ribbon, the Tutti Fruity washi tape, and the Tutti Fruity cardstock pack. So to start with, we've got the Tutti Fruity 6x6 designer series paper stack. So this is a stack of 48 sheets of 6x6 papers. And they all have these adorable patterns. A lot of them have the fruits. So you've got the watermelons here, some watermelons here. We've got some random leaves and some berries. Just some neutral patterns, apples and pears, uh, limes, oranges, and grapefruit. Another kind of random colorful pattern. Some stripes, uh, some uh, grid. And then you flip them over and you've got some more fabulous patterns. You've got the pineapples, the strawberries, bananas, some really cute scallops, and then some plain, um, very versatile pa pieces of paper here. And then we finish off with the uh, cut kiwi. 48 sheets in the package. The suite also includes the Tutti Fruity sequins, which I do happen to have some here that I've been uh, kind of getting ready to use here and they're just adorable. They're adhesive backs. So you can just pop them right off the sheet uh, with your fingernail if you have one or a paper piercing tool if you don't have any fingers and nails like me. We've got the Tutti Fruity washi tape and I like to keep my washi tapes on book rings. It just helps me know what uh, patterns and colors go with what sweet. So this one's got some skinny cherry cobbler, some garden green, got some really nice Fresh fig right there, some lemon lime twist, and then a little bit of Daffodil Delight with a tiny little chevron pattern on it. Here are the four punches that come in the suite. These coordinate with the fruit basket stamp set. So you've got the pear, strawberry, watermelon, and pineapple. Pear, strawberry, watermelon, and pineapple punches that coordinate with that. And then here's that yummy lemon lime twist 3 8 inch striped ribbon. So fun to work with, so super soft also. So today's project is going to be this adorable little sour cream container and it's adorable and amazing because it's reusable. So you can just kind of stick your finger in there and you can just pop this little guy open and you can snap it closed and it will stay closed yet it will also open up so the person can get the delicious treats or the fun present out of there and they can reuse it, re-gift it, keep it. They don't have to destroy this type of sour cream container which is amazing. I love that about this. So hold on just a sec. We're going to get the supplies ready and we're going to get to making this for you. All right, let's get started. We've got our piece of designer series paper, We've got our paper trimmer. This is a six by six. We want to cut it down to five and a half by six. So I want this edge to be six, this dimension to be five and a half. So we'll stick that on the trimmer. We're going to cut off a half an inch and then we're going to score another half an inch. Okay, so I use, if I have small measurements, I use this, I use this section of the trimmer. It goes out to an inch and a quarter. I just find it makes it a little bit easier. So we'll just get that scored. We're done with our trimmer. Okay, and we're going to just fold this edge down like that. Bring in a bone folder. Get a nice fold. This one I am going to put some glue on. You only really need it on the ends. Whoops, my fast fuse. But I'll go all the way across. It's not going to hurt it to have extra adhesive on it. We'll just fold that down. Burnish it. And then we have the basis for our container. Now I like to take my bone folder and kind of get this thing ready to roll because you want to kind of roll it into a tube. And I find that if it's already sort of rolling that way, it does make it a little bit easier to complete the roll. So I do like to kind of curl it with my bone folder and make it like a piece of uh, curling ribbon. So we're going to add some adhesive on one of these edges. We're going to fold this over. 
and then we're going to stick that together. We're also going to have adhesive right here. I'm going to go ahead and do with my fast fuse. Okay. And then I'm going to just add some liquid glue on this edge here. So we've got the fast fuse opposite the fold line or the folded uh, designer series paper and then we've got the glue on one of those other edges. Okay. So we've got our fold here, we've got our fast fuse on this edge and then we've got this. And so this is kind of already ready to roll like I said. So we're going to roll it around and stick it to itself. I don't know, about a half an inch in ish. Lining up that and then we'll just kind of press this together. Give that glue a chance to glue itself. Now to do our folding, we are going to have this seam be on one of the edges. Okay, so you want to fold it like that. And you can use a bone folder if you want. A crisp fold there. And here. Okay. And then we're going to hold it like this. And then we're going to fold this side opposite. Okay, so just kind of press it together gently, getting those ends to line up. And just press that into the fast views. Again, you can use your bone folder to get that nice crisp fold there. And then that is the main container. And then it will kind of snap closed. And then it will kind of snap open and you can fill it with some treats of your choice. You could put some candies in there. You could probably wrap up some jewelry in a piece of tissue paper. Um, cash, of course, will fit in here really nicely. Um, a little thank you note would work. Uh, just a little something to give someone to tell them that you appreciate them. So here's the container. Now we're going to go ahead and make the little tag for it. So I've got my three stamps from the Fruit Basket stamp set and our greeting. Okay, so I've got the outline image of the pineapple. Can you see that? I've got the top of the pineapple, and then I've got the bottom part of the pineapple. I find it's easier, if I'm going to punch these out, I like to have um, a guide of where to stamp my um, inside images. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the outline image a couple times in black on a strip of Whisper White. Okay, so I'm just going to ink that up in the black, and we'll just stamp it on there a few times. Oops. And these images don't have to be super dark. They don't have to be perfect. They just need to be an outline image so that you can see where you're going to stamp your inside pieces. I'm going to bring in some Daffodil Delight, which of course is the bottom of the pineapple. Okay. And now you can see, I can just put this down and you, I can see the outline image on the outside of this design. So I can pretty much just stamp this part of the pineapple right inside of that outline. Now we're going to bring it in the garden green and we're going to do the same thing with the pineapple top. Ink that up. And again, I can see the outline image so I know where to stamp this. And we only need a couple of these. I think we need three of them. So. And that one's not perfect, but it's going to be all right. Now we're going to bring in our little pineapple punch, which is part of that set of four. Get rid of this so it don't make a mess. And then you can see when you line that up, all you get is the bottom of the pineapple, the top of the pineapple, and you don't get any of the black. Okay. So here is our adorable little pineapple. Isn't that cute? And we're going to do that three more times. Again, not getting any of the black, but the black certainly does help us line that image up. Okay, so we've got our three little pineapples. Now I've gone ahead and already done this. I did crop a circle from Whisper White cardstock with our two inch circle punch. And then I did add the three little pineapples to the circle using our mini Stampin' Dimensionals. So now I just need to stamp a greeting on there. So I've got the greeting that says, you are the sweetest right here. I'm just gonna ink that up in some soft suede ink. Okay, and then we're just going to get that right down here below these pineapples. Like so. 
And I've got this tiny little heart image that I'm going to stamp right below that in some lemon lime twist. And to find my lemon lime twist pad here, just lightly ink that up on the corner of the pad, and then we are just going to stamp. Oh, I just love this. So cute. Move our little pineapples. I'll save those for later. Okay, so now we just need to add our little tag to our box. So cute. You could thread this through with some twine or with some ribbon, but I'm just going to glue it on there. I find that's just as easy. So we'll just add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of that circle. Oh, you're not watching what I'm doing. Sorry. I added the glue to the back of the circle right here at the top, and I'm just going to press that onto the front of the treat pouch. And then I have a little tiny bow here. You're probably wondering, wow, where did you get that little tiny bow in Lemon Lime Twist? Hmm, it's a miracle. I took our new Whisper White. Uh, this is kind of an organza type ribbon, but it's very thin. And it does have um, a nice detailed edge on both sides of it. So, And this particular type of ribbon, organza ribbon, dyes beautifully. I love dyeing this ribbon. So all I did was add a few drops of water to a little container, a few drops of ink, put the ribbon in, hang it up to dry, and tie it in a bow. So it's a very easy process. It's a little time consuming only because you have to wait for the ribbon to dry before you can use it. So what I do is if I know I'm going to be using... Um, a lot of that color so I may just take a really super long chunk of this and just dye it all up and then it'll be ready to go whenever I want to use it and so I'm just going to add this to our little pouch with a glue dot so we'll just press our tiny adorable little lemon lime twist bow into the glue dot and then we'll just add that to the top of the treat container right there oh my gosh isn't that adorable I just love this this paper is so cute these little pineapples the punches the whole thing is just adorable so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up I love seeing those if you need to order your own supplies the 2d fruity sweet fruit basket stamps any of that stuff you can do it at shoppingwithbarb.com please use my host code when you do order it's listed on my blog at barbstamps.com and as always I hope you guys have a wonderful day